Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool wooden wall crank telephone. This is a Stromberg and Carlson and this is arts equipment and basically this is a really unique telephone because it's had a radio installed in it and what they would do back in the day was when they were not using these telephones any longer people would turn them into radios and this one's had a conversion with a radio installed in the unit and basically it was done from what it looks like by a professional company what we want to do is talk about the radio a little bit now we have located a schematic and it is a Sam's Photofax we'll kinda of give you a look at that and we did this because we wanted the telephone to have a schematic along with the radio So that's cool. It will have a schematic with the telephone. We also replaced one of the capacitors that was in this unit. And we also had to re-solder the circuit board. The tuner had come loose on some of the connections at the PC board. We also cleaned all of the tube sockets and took care of any issues with the radio and it has a couple of knobs on the side here it has our tuner and the off and on volume control and then we have our power cord for the radio so the radio is going to be a functioning radio but we're also going to make the telephone work we need to go through the receiver capsule and if that has enough audio we're going to use the original parts if not we'll upgrade it the cloth cord has to be replaced. We also want to upgrade the transmitter to an electronic amplified transmitter that we design and build here at the shop. And that way you will not have to get right up on the spit cup to talk into this telephone. It's almost like a speaker phone. They're so sensitive. And so it will have a high quality transmit power. We also want to install another circuit that we design and build here at the shop that allows you to walk up to this telephone and crank the crank for the magneto and ring the original bells but not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line and yet when you get a call the original bells will ring now the radio has an off and on volume control but they also have the circuit for the radio running up through the hook switch so you actually have to take the receiver capsule off the hook hanger for the hook switch to get the radio to come on and so we need to rewire that situation because we're going to be using this telephone as a telephone so it's going to have its conversion but then it's also going to have the radio that will work and we will do some still pictures so you can get an idea of how cool this telephone really is No, no heads may play. Uh, when, when my staff said there's concerns, I came out and I met with the, uh, the auditors that were on staff.
$500. That includes lunch, 18 holes of golf, followed by post-golf cocktails and food. Cock we have a lot of work that we need to start. And so we're going to come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair and conversion of this really cool telephone and radio. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair of this really cool Stromberg and Carlson wooden wall crank telephone and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now we also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And since it's an open amplifier, it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere. And if you hear any kind of a electrical hum or noise or static, it will be coming from the amplifier and not the telephone. Now we also want to talk about some issues that we took care of with this unit. A little bit of everything has been worked on. Now we also replaced our eyelets for hanging the telephone in each corner. They were missing when the unit came in, so that's been taken care of. We installed our receiver capsule cloth cord. We also were able to utilize the original receiver so that's pretty cool. We also installed an electronic amplified transmitter that we design and build here at the shop and you will no longer have to get right up on the spit cup to talk to people on this telephone. It'll be almost like a speakerphone. It has a high quality transmit power and they're very sensitive. We also had to adjust the bells we went ahead and went through the solenoids. We made sure that they were working properly and all the solder connections were good. We went through the hook switch. That was taken care of. We also repaired the radio on this unit. We installed a modular port for the line cord so that you can simply bring in any length line cord, any color that you choose, and plug right into that line cord. Makes for a simple, easy, plug-and-play connection. We also installed the line, the wiring that runs back into the telephone from the transmitter. It was missing. Somebody had taken the line out when they installed the radio because at that point the telephone was no longer being used. Now there was a latch right here at this eyelet and you could use a straight screwdriver to open it but it was missing and so that was replaced. And we're going to do some still pictures of those issues. We also showed earlier we located a SAMS Photofax, a schematic for the radio. So now this unit will have a schematic that goes along with it for the radio. We also installed a circuit that we design and build here at the shop that allows you to walk up to this really cool telephone, crank the crank, and ring the original bells but not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line and yet when you get a call the original bells ring. Now there is no keypad for this telephone. There was not really enough room in the battery box area where we install a keypad. So this is just an extension telephone and we're going to go ahead and call a time and temp number during the final checkout and we will be using a tone dialer and we can put that right up to the transmitter and go ahead and dial out that way. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and crank the crank and ring the original bells.
We'll do that one more time. Now what we can do is use our analyzer and ring the original bells. So we'll go ahead and start that. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. Now we'll go ahead and call a time and temp number. We'll press the button on the switch box. That'll give us a line out. Totally take the analyzer out of the situation. And we'll call a time and temp number. Go ahead and give you some dial tone. We'll use our tone dialer and make our call. Today is Friday, April 28th. The current time, 9.22 p.m. And the temperature, 63 degrees. We can go ahead and hang our unit up. Now that we know that this really cool Stromberg and Carlson wooden wall crank telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Art and he can enjoy this telephone. I'm sure it's going to look great no matter where it's installed. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.